Hello everybody, this is Rail, and welcome back to Final Fantasy V. Um, last time... Well, you listened to the last video, but if you want a quick recap, uh, we got through the... We finished off the ship graveyard, and we started making our way through North uh, Mountain. Not it, really. Nothing too interesting, but it's something. So this time, let's head out! Anyway, I'll actually be right back. Sorry about that. Okay, sorry about that. I was honestly just getting a new guide. Because I just got really annoyed and irritated. By literally the guy just said, collect everything. You something will happen here. It like no explanations at all, and it was just annoying. It was at that point it was just pretty much a just a item checklist, really. But uh, I'm not gonna complain anymore. I enjoy how they. How, if you really think about that, that hammering and actually planting that would take at least a minute or two. So this person just stood around waiting, really. Anyway, boss time. I'm gonna try to steal. See if that has any effect. I'm gonna open it with poison on her to cure that. Black magic. Here's a place you could learn arrow if you didn't learn it earlier. Not the best thing in the world, but it's better than uh, most other things. I could just use arrow on her. Let's see how much that does. Ooh, that's nice. Nothing to steal. Well, potions aren't the most effective form of healing. I just want the high DPS of uh, my mages to go through right now. This guy is very dangerous, and the longer I leave him up, the more likely he is to kill everyone. With that... <laughs> that was a crit. Blanket cure. I'm gonna probably tell both of them to blanket cure this round. And then toss a potion on anyone that really needs it. Um, you're over 90 points down and below. It's like, gun 50, so definitely there. Bad. Uh. Okay, cure here. Cure here. Item potion on him, maybe he'll survive. Right now, I'm just scrambling to heal enough. Okay, 
Okay, I'm not hemorrhaging nearly as badly now. I mean, I can't stop double healing right now, but other people can actually get damage in again. Ugh, that was annoying. Still alive, at least. Okay, this fight just got a hell of a lot easier. Keep everyone above 100, and I should be fine. Wasted a lot of time there. Zero. And there we go! Killed them both. 6 ABP, a whip, and a power drink. Not the biggest deal in the world, but hey, it's something. <sighs> that sucked. We're running back and using a tent. I need to stock up on a few more tents and potions after this, but, you know, I only burnt through 10 potions in that fight. Anyway. What we got there was, well, really pointless, at least for now. We can't use, no, none of our characters, I believe, can use the whip. Unless we were to, uh, use something silly like this. And the whip is actually a really powerful weapon. best to use when problems come along. Like, it's a really good weapon, but I'd have to go Freelancer to use it, and that's just not worth it. It's not worth wasting ABP on it. Oh, and, obvi and of course, you gotta upgrade up the Mythical Helm, which is okay. I don't really have much to say about it, really. It's a defensive item upgrade. It is, um... Important in the sense of it was Lena's uh, father's, so that's so nice. But yeah, boss down, hooray! And go back to goblin punching because it's a free, decent hitting attack. Amazing or anything, but it's better than nothing. done the same with uh, either Galef or Ferris there, simply because, you know, poison up. We also have antidote, but, you know, poison up and a cure would have been fine. Even a phoenix down. Now we have the wind air the, the wind rate. We can actually fly around and anywhere there's open grass, such as here, um, up there you can actually land because you saw where you took off, so you can land there. But we can actually fly all over the place now. <laughs> Sorry, sneeze. Um so we can actually backtrack and travel without a million random encounters as we fly along. 
to go back to the uh, ship at this point. First thing, though, I'm going to land here and hit the inn and the item shop real quick. Hi. Yeah, I want... Ten more potions. Three more tents. And that should be fine for now. We have at least three of everything else, right? Yep, and we're good. I was just reading something to make sure I'm not missing anything, and I know where I'm heading next. So, where we're heading next is... South, I do believe. Is this it? Yes, this is Walls. We could have rested here, but I didn't. <laughs> First up, though, let's hit up the shops. Hi! Iron shields, I will buy two in total. Iron helm is worse. I might grab one in case I can use a helm. It's nice to have a secondary backup helmet. We'll come back to that. Iron armor, definitely one. Kenpo Gi, three, because it's actually insanely good armor for a lot of different people. That's more than enough armor changing for right now. Anyway, I'm going to optimize and then glance through, make sure everything is as I like. Optimize, yep. She just get a Kempo D. Oh, alright, he wasn't one that could actually equip that. It was you that could have equipped it. And cross rod. Anyway, that's nice. We're going to hit the weapon shop too. Just mostly for glancing. Um, Semi-useless. Already have one. Don't really feel like dropping the gill on another. At least for right now. So, that's done. Is there a magic shop here? Yes, there is. Anything new? Yes! And none of our people can use this. So, I... You could probably assume we'll be... Able to use that later, but not right now. Anyway. Yes, I'm actually doing that to prevent encounters. I'm weird like that. Anyway, first thing is... We're heading up. Joy of having a someone of nobility or royalty in your party. Get the devil and he shall appear. Oh, in this case, a catastrophic, rule changing uh, calamity, but you know, potato potato. Well, that is not what we expected. <laughs> okay, apparently the world's ending via meteor this time. Well, another meteor at least. Uh keep moving my mic farther away to try not to peak the audio. I think I got a decent equilibrium at this point. Hopefully my voice is not too loud or too soft. I'll try to poke at it in editing. 
Well, the little I do. I adjust the audio levels. That's interesting. Let's, uh, explore a bit and get some stuff. You got a free tent! And a Phoenix Down. Phoenix Down's actually really nice. And 490 gil. So that's a thousand, that's about 500, that's about 200 I think? So... Like... 1680? 1690? Something like that? Give or take? Uh... Okay, give me a second. I will be right back. Okay, back for a bit. Anyway, give us give me a second. I'm also gonna check. It's fine. What we're about to do, I may or may not give up on, but I'm going to at least try. And that's to get a few things a little before I can even actually even use them. But Stairs, right door, down our place stairs. And here, I'm going to save state a bit. Because there is an insanely powerful enemy here, and that just saved his life. Jack Renapes is not something you want to mess with. But for this, we get the Elven Mantle, for one. Let's look at what that does. Elven Mantle. Sometimes evade physical attacks, which is not actually even on the evasion side, just, you know, great. Uh, increases magic, magic defense, and agility. Meaning... Let's see here. Let's give it to the old man, because the agility increase would be really nice. His defense drops by... Ooh, actually. Do that just so his defense doesn't plummet that hard and her magic defense gets us up. This is a blue mage. Anyway, we've gotten the element mantle. Now let's. He misses again. Basically, what the entire strategy here is flee constantly and uh, pray he doesn't actually kill the rogue. Anyway, this taught us this magic spell called Speed. Can't use it yet. And that's why we run like hell. We are not here to fight in the slightest. We're here to get 2,000 gills, 3,000 gill worth of stuff here, and the mantle. Or 2,000 in the mantle, and uh... Oh, that's bad. That is very bad. And... That is why I safe stated. Uh, the thing is, I could save scum outside the entire time, but that just literally is the same as save scumming, just without, with less tedium. I don't really know what that did. Oh. Anyway, we're going over to the end to heal back up because one of us is dead and I'm not burning a phoenix down to revive him. Gil, even though we just got a lot of gil, still a bit of a pain in the butt to burn it like that. I think I didn't loot one of those. I'll be right back to check that.
Back in the Castle of Death, I didn't actually lose this pot. You actually get 2,000 gil. People are screaming in the comments. This is gonna be painful. Our person died on the way out. Every extra step is a nightmare here. Oh my god. Run, 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 don't. Yes! Okay, we're out. We're good. Okay. Well, that was not something I wanted to see. Okay, let's actually go back, because I noticed the amount of gill we had, and that's how it tipped me off, because we shouldn't have gotten at least 2,000 there, and uh, no matter how you cut it, that was lower than the amount we should have. And 1,000 gill is worth the little bit of saves coming. Um, let's see, how much was that 10? 250. Oh, more than I thought. A little bit more. So that one room was very much worth it. Now, we're gonna have fun doing something else. Actually, no we're not. We're not having any fun. I, uh, just spent a while trying that off screen. Oh my dear god, I'm thinking my audio is so bad there. Um, just tried a little bit off screen and... Uh-uh, <laughs> no, no, that, that's not happening. To be fair, we're under leveled for it. We're under job class. And honestly, I should probably grind a bit here. I think I will, to be fair, because... <sighs> that last boss was hard, and... While I do want the game to be semi-hard, I don't want it to be frustratingly so. So I'm gonna grind just a little bit. A few levels, maybe a few abilities. I mean, he's still night two for crying out loud, so... Well, I'll be back after I grind a little bit. Figured I'd bring you back for this battle. Is that one ADP? Arts leveled and gained two-handed. That is the primary reason I was sticking with Knight for so long. That, and there's no real other good offensive choice right now? Other than Monk? But, uh, I might start leveling Monk a bit now. And gain Sprint. <sighs> I do not remember when steel becomes a thing, but uh, yeah, that's that's enough from you. So you're going actually. So what I'm doing now? So I'm going to take Bart's a little bit down the monk because the monk can give some really nice things. Can he can't equip weapons, so there's no reason for this. So. Or any physical attack, or I'll take cover just in case. She's going to be leveling as a knight for a bit, and I'll give her sprint. What sprint does is this is the run speed with sprint. Without it, a fair bit slower. It also gives her something when in other, class, other classes, where, crap, other jobs where it's just not that great. So, anyway, back to the grind. I'll be back. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to show off Monk in a fight real quick because I don't know if I've ever even shown it. I may have, or I may not have. Anyway, so, what I'm doing is Goblin Punch, obviously. I might switch that over. Anyway, monks get to attack twice, and I don't actually know the statistics on what actually increases their unarmed damage, to be fair, but that's actually a fair decent bit of damage as you saw there. If both those hits had landed, it would be 168, which is higher than he would do with a sword. That being said, with two-handed is something I've been wanting for him. But I'll show that off later, because I'll be using that fairly extensively. Anyway, back to the grind. Okay, and we're back. I finally finished grinding. I was gonna aim for level 12, but I think that would've been a little too much with how little these guys gave. But I did go ahead and finally get some more, um... Uh... Level, like, job levels under these guys. First off, Bart's hit level 3, which gives him two hands. Basically, he can't use a shield anymore, but he can double damage. So, that's really nice. Um, he hit level 2 monk, which gives barehanded 
which will be useful later, but it's more so I just wanted to funnel some of the uh, AVP that way anyway, so. Um, uh, I, other than that, Bart's is, that's all Bart's really accomplished. Uh, Lena's level 2 knight, working towards level 3, which will let her uh, two-hand as well, which is the route I am going early. Uh, might push her into Monk instead. But honestly, Knight just does so much more damage to Monk, and there's no reason to go Monk over Knight. Um, I decided to hold back on this, because this is so much AVP going to waste that could be actually helpful. But something I could actually do, which, thinking about it, I should've, was uh, put her get her to Monk through Monk till she can get barehanded, which I'm about to actually set up. Uh, sprint, I guess. So she can get barehanded, and then at, after that point, um, I can go to Thief and actually have reasonable damage output. Basically, um, unarmed damage is uh, two is double your level plus three, I think. I might be wrong. That might be the base damage of it, like the base damage of a sword is that, is X. Um, other than that, that's about it really there. Elif, uh, I got him to level 2 uh, Blue Mage so that he could have learning, so when I need it I can just slap it there instead of having to switch to the class. Um, I'm getting him to go through Black Mage more to get level 4 there. Honestly, I want a new class for him, but... Nothing else really appeals to me right now. So, there's that. Ferris, I hit level 3, which lets her uh, have the uh, ability blue, which allows her to use blue magic in any form. So, white mage plus blue is my goal here. Other than that, that's about all. That's where I funneled most of the AVP there. I actually was going to stop, noticed she needed one more AVP, so I did one more battle. But, um, that's where we are. Um, I got Gil along the way, obviously, so fully decked out. The actual equipment I have, uh... Okay, I have th a total of um, three, maybe four long swords, simply because while doing blue mage, it increased the damage because that's how Goblin Fist works, I believe, or Goblin Bunch. So figured, eh, why not? It's a little bit of gill, but it's no big deal. Basically, everyone has the best gear they can have, and I have some duplicates in case I want to bring someone into another job later on. I'll actually care about these guys for their um, other things, but for right now, it does not matter to me whatsoever. Anyway, so the amount of time I spent grinding, which is thrown off because speed up, but I'm probably like a quarter of that, maybe half that, because I was checking some things, seeing what, I forgot the path I was in paths and whatnot, forget, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm going to call this video, I know not much, really, because whatnot, but yeah, next one should be better. Anyway, this has been Real. Thanks to you for joining me.